Well, of course, the first responsibility of government is the defence of our country, and that's why we, as a government, spend an enormous amount with the UK defence industry. We're planning over the next 10 years to spend over £178 billion in terms of uh, refreshing our equipment for our armed forces. And then it becomes a big employer nationally as well. So right from the north of Scotland down to the south of England, we have defence employment, Northern Ireland, Wales as well. And over 200,000 people are employed directly in defence and security. And then a further 150,000 in the knock-on effects of that in the economy. Also a very big exporter for the UK economy. So. The equipment that our armed forces buys is something that often other countries want to buy for their armed forces. And that's why this showcase of what we can do as a country is so important to our exports and to our country's prosperity. Well, of course, as a big employer, it's not just uh, that it's the number of jobs, it's the quality of the jobs. So right the way through from the 15,000 apprenticeships in the sector, all the way through to very highly skilled, very high value jobs, particularly ones that require science technology, engineering, maths backgrounds, but also a wide range of course international backgrounds with the uh, export drive that we have in this sector. So it is a, a very important area for highly skilled, well-paid jobs. DSEI is a fabulous showcase for all of the innovation, all of the small and medium-sized enterprises, all of the very important export products that we have. And so it's one that welcomes some 50 countries, about 35,000 people come to this exhibition and it showcases the best of British in terms of defence and engineering and innovation and security. I am looking forward to coming to DSEI this year, so uh, it's going to be a fantastic showcase for all that's best of British uh, in the defence and security export sector.